What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. I um, finally hit diamond. I uh, think I'm global 256. Um, using Sugar Minis base. So shout out to Amy. Genuinely appreciate it. Um, yeah. Um, thumbnail says the great debate. Um, we all debated in Sugar Ship like over 2,000 messages um, about whether to get the second proto. I got it, and I finally made diamond. Um, got it the other day on an eight times win streak into diamond. What did it was the flames. The flamethrowers were clutch. I'm still using rocket choppers with the critters and TD, but no GB. I don't have any GB. Um, probably get some, but I'm still debating on that or DVD. Um, really pretty easy once um you get the critters um i'm doing anywhere from like 252 254 to 303 um unless i just completely mess up an attack um had three seeker fizzles um on my way to diamond um the flamethrowers really just kind of put me over the top On that, see, I'm all I'm using the art or the barrage for is to either clear three art for the cannons, um, in a in an attack coming up, I'll use uh it to board a shock blaster. But for the most part, just critters and flares. It's all you really need, um, to kind of get you where you need to be. Also, if you don't have to clear the shock blast, or not the shock blaster, but the uh, sky shield, don't. Like, if you hit it without um, having to go, without having to destroy it, then just move past the thing. Because it takes so long to bark. Bullets rarely in my attacks, but when he is, you try to make good use of him. It's just hard to get him into position because the rocket choppers are so much faster than bullets. Like here, you just um, bart the cannon that's in the way. Critters are distracting on the left. And I'm just going straight for the ERs. Forget the cannon because the critters are distracting the cannon. Uh, Ch I actually faced Chicken to start the win streak. Uh, he's actually doing really well this season. But yeah, just good flaring is key. Because um, if you flare wrong, your attack's over with the rocket choppers because the cannon and the shock blaster are going to get you. Um, also, my, uh, my music, I'm trying out a new editing program and uh, the music does not um, work well on it for some reason. I'll get that adjusted though. Um, but yeah, um, seekers were a pain in my ass, like a blender in my ass until I got flamethrowers and it immediately just fizzles. Uh, so I recommend them immediately. It's amazing how big of a difference just a basic defense was for my push. I mean, because I have people getting like 230s, 218, and um, Seekers fizzling. So, like, it's just night and day of the difference. Flaring over here to the corner, dropping the critters by the two cannons. See, this is what I mean. If you don't have to take the sky shield, don't. As soon as the ER is down, I'm flaring the other ER. I think the shield went down anyways. But forget that thing if you can. Did a three on four on this attack. Critters. 
taking down the two er i already i'm already looking ahead i see the cannon that's going to be difficult so we get that out of the way we're flaring getting ready for the critters we're going to drop the critters right there so that the machine guns does to get them getting the er going next to your critters next to your take it down once you get in the hang of it, once you have critters and you get in the hang of it, you can get in a groove where you're just consistently knocking them out. Um, this one was d dirty. That's why it was a 254. I was trying to um, get Bullet involved. But he's just so slow for me that this cannon takes my rocket chopper. I'm trying to wait on Bullet, but finally Bullet decides to join the party, albeit after all of the single point is gone. And then we're just flaring ERs. Forget machine guns, flamethrowers. If that's all you have on the deck, go for the ERs. Now, if you're really close to machine guns, they hit you a lot more than if you're further away. So just be uh, conscious of that. This was my boss fight. I got a 247. I thought I lost it. I was at 20 and 79 out of 80. I was like, Supercell screwed me. As soon as I got the 247, I thought I was done. I um, thought my win streak was over. But the guy that I faced got a 218, which just shows you how good flamethrowers are right now. And after that, you just go for the ERs. Let's check out my uh, tech tree. Um, would like to go down the wor wormhole or the rabbit hole, whatever, um, and get shock launchers soon. But I have none of the GBE, which I would <laughs> would make my life significantly easier. I also want DVD. There's two DVDs. There's the 26 one, and then there's also the 28 one that's down next to uh, the TD right there. And then the GB going to six. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is getting the cheap DVD for 26, and then the DVD or and then the GB going to six. And then, so I can either go six next, or I can go down the rabbit hole if I want to. Um, just kind of trying to see what everybody else does, but um, it seems like DBD helps a lot. And so, I'm going to go for that, and then GB, and then we'll figure out what's next. Anyways, I hope those hits help, and uh, we'll see you guys next time, okay? Um, don't forget to drop a subscribe or a like, whatever that bullshit is. Would appreciate it. Alright guys, later.